everyone. Thanks for joining me. Um, right now, I just got finished fixing the sponge cake and this is the frosting. You know I wasn't going to leave you guys out with me, with helping me make this delicious frosting. Right now it's going to be cream cheese frosting. That's the kind of frosting I have a taste for um, with this sponge cake. And I have my Philadelphia cheese. I'm only going to put one. The original instructions basically says um, two eight ounce of Philadelphia cheese, but I'm not making a large cake, so it's just something to layer over this um, sponge cake. So right now I'm going to begin to start blending this, you know, smoothing this uh, cream cheese out. Now I added my softened butter, thicker butter. And make sure everything is at room temperature because it's definitely going to go out better. So as you can see, it's the butter and the cream. And I am using the clear uh, vanilla. And a little bit of that in there. confectioning sugar, powdered sugar there. You want to watch this because I don't want a lot, like I said. Okay, I might have to stop so you can be able to push everything down from the sides there. Okay, lift that back up. So you take a stick of butter, one pack of eight ounce cream cheese, vanilla extract, and confectioner sugar. Now you double this depending on how how big your cake is. But I will list the ingredients for the original uh, recipe as far as how much is needed. Okay, we are done. Now, this is what it would be. Right there. And here I have the container that I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it cool let it cool some so while my cake is in the freezer cooling and then I'll just put this in the in the fridge for for a little while and then spread this over the cake and it looks like all of this is going to go in here but like I said I'm going to list the uh, the ingredients that basically said to add to um, eight ounces and I don't know how much cake I mean someone is going to uh, you know how, how what size the cake is that you would actually fix but personally I felt I tasted this and it tastes so delicious and personally I feel as though that it only needs one, you know, one uh, eight ounce of um, of cream cheese, personally. So, but I will list for two. Um, that's your preference, whether you want to add one or you want to add two. And let's take that. Mm. I'm sorry, guys, but I had to taste this and just put it in the refrigerator. You know. Here's my top for this. I'll put that in there good. And just, th you know, put it in the refrigerator. Um, let it chill. Okay. And once again, this is Tootsie cooking in the kitchen. And thank you for joining me.